You can shake, you can slice. You can fade, you can flop. The one thing you can't control is Mother Nature. And now, Chris Crocker's Weekend Golfing Forecast. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Baloo the Bear in studio once again. Rick Lukens, Keith Oso, and Chris Crocker. Good afternoon. For our forecast. How you doing? I'm doing great. Weather is, uh, isn't everybody so much more comfortable? It's a little cooler. It is. It's very nice. I was just talk- I was talking with the uh, with the mail carrier today when he he came up on the uh, came up the driveway and he goes, "Isn't this nice?" And I said, "You look happy." And he says, "Much happier in the last few weeks." Uh, I've been getting uh, rave reviews. <clears throat> Not that I had anything to do with it, but the people like to tell me what they think of the weather, and people seem to be quite pleased with the cool down. We're gonna warm up a little bit again this weekend. Uh, tomorrow, a high of only seventy two. Nice. Perfect. Nice. I tell you what, if you have an early tea time, we're going to start the day off in the 40s. You might need a sweater. Yeah. Sounds like an open window night to me. Oh, yes, for sure. Uh, enjoy that. Saturday, we're up in the upper 70s. Still very comfy. And then I. this is sort of a new development in the forecast. I thought we were going to stay in the Snow? mid 80s. No. No, oh. <laughs> no we're going to bump up for one day in the upper 80s on Sunday. So it's going to be hot again. Wow. I know. <laughs> But so we're going to go from 70s to almost 90 in one day. Yeah. That's, wow. That's how we roll. Yeah. And uh, that, that again, that is new development just with the latest round of computer models that uh, we're going to be warming up again. So No, no with all the, with the ups and downs and the temperature, no prospect of uh, electricity in the air at any point? Not through the weekend. Sunny okay. through the weekend. And then when things might get a little interesting once we start cooling down. The warm-up usually comes without any sort of fanfare. It's yeah. the cool down that we, uh, Well, we've already had feisty. our light show for the week, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, lo- I love the, the cool down because it's not a cool down in the 50s. It's the mid-70s here. This is perfect. It's lovely. Perfect. Slight breeze coming through. That's been a nice breeze, yes. It's not 90. You're not sweating. It's just nice. This, I, you're, this is, you just made this for me. This is my perfect... Okay. Mid seventies is perfect. So what? What is tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow's seventy two. That'll be the coolest day. Are you guys playing? We're, we're trying. We're trying. It's it. it it's uh, trying. Every, everybody's got a tournament. tournament. Everybody's oh. got a tournament tomorrow. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody I've called has a tournament. Tomorrow. And we and no one invited us to play. So yeah. that's the so shocker. If you I was have thinking, a tournament who has a tournament? You need two guys to come golf in for free. <laughs> or <laughs> or, or if you've got if you've got a tee time between nine and ten, and need two, and you need two or, or three, we, could, yeah. we could even bring to go. Vince. We could even bring Vince. Vince for wants free. to go too. Yeah. To quote Maggie, "Thanks for nothing yeah. <laughs> for inviting us." Right? That was a, that was a caddy shack. That was right? a caddy yeah, shack. Yeah, Nobody quotes the caddy Maggie. Shack. No, they don't. No. You're right. Would I you, do. Would you like to come in and help me sort, sort my holy, holy cards? cards. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for nothing. <laughs> um, the seldom Maggie quote. Yes. Well, speaking of tournaments, uh, a new one that I'm involved in and pretty excited about coming up on September 9th. And this is a memorial golf tournament for an incredible man uh, that we actually lost less than a year ago. It was a year ago, September 12th. Mike Chapel. Uh, many of you know him or knew him and or knew of him because there was a lot of press coverage when he passed. Suddenly, he was 44 years old, mm. which is the two digits I'm coming up on in October, and died unexpectedly of a heart attack after just wrapping up a round of golf at Indian Canyon. This was last September. And uh, he was an environmental superhero here locally, did amazing things. And this was such a shock. He was founder of Gonzaga's Environmental Law Clinic, helps start the Spokane River Keeper, which is doing Herculean efforts to clean up the Spokane River. I, I don't know if you've noticed that beautiful uh, body of water moving right through the middle of uh, the metro area. Seen it once <laughs> or twice. Yeah, that thing. Uh, anyway, I, I never had the pleasure to meet him, but I have gotten to know his wife, and he's got two young sons, a nine-year-old and a six-year-old, who are in the First Tee program, which I'm involved in. And I recognize his son, uh, oldest son, Christopher, is a hotshot golfer, Uh. Uh, left-handed, and just uh, he's going to be on the tour someday and uh, loves golf. So this is a really a great tribute. Mike 
loved golf. He loved the environment, obviously, and did amazing things uh, for water quality right here in our area. So as a way to memorialize him, and uh, we're going to have this tournament on the 9th of September, an annual event. This will be the first year, obviously, and it is open to everybody. Come on out. It is September 9th at Indian Canyon. It's $75, and you can either put together your own scramble team. The format is a scramble, or we'll match the, you they'll up. match it up. And half of the money that of the proceeds goes to the Spokane River Keeper Program, and half of it goes to the First Tee. So supporting Mike's two great loves, the environment and golf. And his son, Christopher, who's really neat, is going to be playing in the tournament. And uh, we'd love to see you out there, as many people as possible. I'd like this to be a, maybe um, Christopher will come back uh, from his PGA Tour days, you know, <laughs> in, in 20 years. And it'll be, you know, he'll play and you'll get to get his autograph. Uh, in the meantime, he's nine and you can say you knew him when. True. I just go ahead and get the autograph now. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. And That'd be worth something. Yes. Okay. I'm going to, that's my next order of business when I see Christopher. I need your autograph, maybe a picture. So this is uh, September 9th. Yes. And uh, one more time where people can go find out about this. The first E? Just just email me. Email Chris Crocker. We're on a, we're on a. Yeah, first Chris, name basis Chris C, here. and it's K-R-I-S. It's not C-H-R-I-S. Right. In fact, K. I, yeah, K. K. As oh, in... Hold on a second, hold on a second. Uh, there, K, yeah. those of us watching uh, online, K-R-I-S. K-R-I-S-C. C. C. At K-X-O-Y. At K-X-O-Y. Or find me on Facebook or Twitter. And She's uh, all over the place. I wonder where all the C-H-R-I-S-C email goes, because surely somebody... We should have started one... Just to see what people are saying, because my guess is it's, <laughs> it's it's not a lot of good emails. As 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 you know, as oh. you know, people from time to time really? in the TV business send out uh, what I like to call a nasty gram. <laughs> a nasty gram. And most of those people uh -huh. probably that are going to send the nasty gram uh, would not look up how to properly spell That's somebody's name. That's a good name. point. And so C R I S C yeah. probably is full of nasty grams. Well, then I'm not going to ask to How could to you wear those shoes with that, that? Oh, my jacket? Gosh. Oh, it's after Labor Day. I mean, it's ridiculous. I wish I, they were the like right. that. It's, it's ridiculous what people decide that they're going to send somebody. It's ridiculous. It trademark is ridiculous. That's right. I forgot to trademark that. Bud's going to come in here and hit me with a chair. But that's, yeah. Your hair was parted on the other side yesterday. It looked better. It looks it looks trashy today. Is that about right? Yeah. I to say Ridiculous. Yes. It is. Please don't wear that outfit again. At least, yeah. I get that a lot, but uh, that's just on radio. <laughs> so, <laughs> and he gets it from me. It's from you know? Rick. <laughs> Please don't wear that against distracting. Uh, yeah, that I do have. Um, I have had a few of those in my career for sure. And we we find them highly entertaining sometimes. As that we somebody would sob send that silently out. in the. <laughs> it's never good to hear, desk. even though it's even though it's dumb, and even though you know I can't believe somebody thought that they needed to send this. It's still not fun to read. It is no, yeah, let's it's be honest. not fun at all. It's not fun to read, I'm and I don't know what their purpose is of trying to send that. And Dennis has no sympathy. He's like, "Why do you care? I don't care. Who cares? Everybody Delete cares it. a little. I, I care, Dennis. Everybody cares a little. Chris. You think Dennis cares deep? Down. Everybody cares a little. I it's, saw it's how much you today. care is a different level. Yeah, that's true. everybody cares on certain days. Even um, Rick and I will get fired up from time to time, even though most of the time we probably don't care. Yeah, Rick. Most of the time, probably don't care. That's but, that's but, very true. But once in a while, we care a little bit. You know, I yeah. tell you, I don't care when they say your hair looks like whatever, or you know that outfit is whatever. But it, when they say I don't know my business about the weather. Then I get a little feisty. Yeah. Then I have to. You are the chief meteorologist. I'm like. You're not the backup. You're the I, chief. Yeah. I may not know anything about fall fashion or <laughs> hairstyling <laughs> or the latest trends in makeup. Uh, but I, I'll, I, I'll test I know it. a thing or two about I'll weather. I'll test to it. Chris, every day. Thank you. Spends probably 30, 40 minutes with the meteorological Ouija board. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It kind of pushes over toward rain. Yeah. No, no, energy. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> snow. There's a little of that. Oh, sorry. There's this board is that. upside down today. And, and again, of all the jobs, see, our job is to just talk about what happened 
or what might happen. Your job is to say this will happen, and when it doesn't, you're an idiot. I'm yeah. glad I don't have that job. I've been called that before. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? There's a lot going on up there in the atmosphere. It's not easy. No. There's all kinds of stuff. Suspended particulates. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the There's shock. stuff up there. I think the shock is that anyone can ever get it right. Correct. Not that we get it wrong once Unless in a while. Unless you're doing weather in Hawaii or San Diego. Right. Where it's the same every day, every day, all day, every day. All year. That's San Diego. San Diego, right which is German. <laughs> yeah. Or. Uh, yeah, something. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, if you're in Spokane and you think you know what it's going to do in the next week, please apply. Well, you have to do some predicting. When yeah, you ours do is your... easy. The Mariners are going to lose at some point. And you. We'll be right eventually. have to pick who the number one team is. I, You know what? I, this is interesting. I love your show so much that my Radio is just kind of stuck on ESPN 700 now, and I'm learning a lot about sports. Is it stuck and, there because you like the show, or do you like the show because your radio got stuck there? Yeah, I, I mean, actually, those are two different things. I've actually, you know, and, and you've both worked with me at, for long enough to know, of all the people in the building, I might not be your person to call on some sort of sports, you know, trivia game show. I don't know very much about sports. I'm trying, but I am learning a lot. And one thing uh, that I was fascinated with this week is all the hubbub about the votes for the number one team in the whole NCAA thing. And Correct. that gentleman who voted for Lane Kiffin, Michigan. Oh, who voted for Michigan? That sh Champagne, Illinois. Are you guys oh. not listening to no, ESPN radio? I don't radio? care about. I don't care about <laughs> national stuff. One guy voted. Okay, I'll bring you up to speed. D d d please A do. A gentleman voted. Michigan as the number one team in the nation. So they got one vote, and then all of the talk radio shows other than yours on ESPN, which I'm listening to now, mm -hmm. had a fit saying that he was just doing it for attention. And I think he was in like Champaign, Champaign Illinois. Illinois. That's and um, so Michigan got one vote for the number. And then he had all the, yeah, see? Yeah, so Michigan, ranked Michigan's eighth ranked nation. eighth. So, I mean, you know, if you're ranked eighth in the nation, I don't have a problem with them getting yeah. one vote. They're okay. ranked eight. Well, if they voted Washington State number one or Oregon State Oklahoma number State one. on that list, by the way, uh, as long as you've got that up? <laughs> let's see here. Chris Crocker is a cowboy. Uh, yeah, I don't think uh, they're 19. Is it a cowgirl, though? Um, if you it used Oklahoma to be. State, now it, it's when probably... I was there, you know, in the 80s, it, you were a cowgirl. Okay. Well, we'll call you the cowgirl. Then. then they were Aggies before that, but that was way before my time. My parents were Aggies. Really? They were. Are your kids going to be cowgirls? Yeah, you, know, you know, I'm not an Oklahoma native. I'm an Idaho native. Right. Uh, but you well, went where your parents went. That's true. Really, it's like south, I, the I, southeast I Idaho, so. though, right? Uh, Which is Idaho Falls. Okay, and that's and that's really almost Wyoming. <laughs> it's actually North Salt Lake. <laughs> if okay, you want to get yeah. technical. It's almost yeah, Wyoming or Utah. I think yeah. the map says North Salt <laughs> I Lake. I agree with that statement. Um, no, uh, you know, I think they're probably all going to go to Stanford on golf scholarships. That's a prediction I would like to see come true. We'll um, see. Check back with me. Stanford? They have a good golf team. I've heard that. They've had a, a, an alumnus or two make it. Yeah, just yeah. one or two. <laughs> uh, and, and if they don't, you know, the whole golf thing doesn't work out they have something else to fall back on if they go to that stanford place yeah it was bob Asmus asmussen of the uh, champagne news gazette in champaign illinois voted michigan number one uh obviously he can't vote illinois the number rest of one. his top uh, 10 looks legit usc, USC alabama, alabama lsu yeah. oklahoma florida state oregon georgia i mean it, it's not like he was putting a bunch of nobodies up there and uh, that's well, anyway. They made a big deal about it on the other, whatever those other things are. No, I was the, those other they shows are, are insignificant. They're insignificant. Uh, I'll say that. Can I? Can I say this? Yeah. Speaking about the other shows, I'm driving this morning, and Colin Cowherd. Oh, the Mariner thing plays the Dave Niehaus call when Edgar doubled off the left field wall and now Junior scored. Now I did scored. hear that. And and I swear. I got goosebumps all over from from listening to that. I mean, I I swear, literally, right. I had head to toe goosebumps listening to it, and uh, a big smile on my face. 
Because remember, I was there. I never, I didn't hear that call live. Mm-hmm. I haven't heard it that many times. And uh, and then Colin Coward goes, "I just got goosebumps." I said, "Yes, yeah." Colin Coward's the man. Well, when when Dave passed, Colin gave him a pretty good tribute on his show. Yeah. Well, he played it again today. Yeah. It was pretty good. Oh. Well, Chris, thanks for your info. We oh, are, yeah. and when I we're working on your uh, video, and when I say we're working That's on right. it, we haven't even started, but we will do it. Well, we're in, we're in the uh, we're in the um, creative uh, yeah, creative storm. Yeah, exactly. Oh. It, it will get done. I, that's a promise. It will get done, but we're not quite as far along as uh, we hoped. We hoped to be done already, and we haven't even really put anything down yet. So we're, well, we're that's we've okay. been short. I'm still savoring the victory. And and then Spazito, your partner, went and won the tournament again the next day. The when Wounded Warrior yeah. tournament. How yeah. did you do? Well, I I don't know. I wasn't invited. I thought you actually you were no. actually you were. We were invited to enter. We were invited to to get a team in the tournament. Oh. And then Dennis was going to be gone, and we ended up not doing. Oh, it. okay. Well, I was playing yeah. softball anyway, but. Oh. Yeah, I should have played golf. Well, thanks, Chris. Uh, we'll see you out on the links, and yes, we'll indeed. see you back uh, next week. And of course, we'll see you on KXY Four HD News. I'll be there at six five six and eleven. Five six and eleven. Five. Six and eleven. Yes. All right. Thanks, Chris. We'll uh, thank you. We'll see you next week. We'll see. You